Hi, this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs. Uh, last week we talked about saving some space using the attach feature. Uh, this week using um, our Smiley Halloween treat box set, I'm going to show you how to save paper and optimize cutting time using the map preview. And how do we do that? So here you see that we have the design laid out. When you click on go, it'll default to the 12 by 12 size. Now you can do a couple things uh, if you have different size paper. So right here, that's tw that would make sense. I, you kind of actually need to use 12 by 12 on this, but let's go to the next one down. Let's say I have a, I have it in a dark gray, and I don't want to use a 12 by 12. I have an eight and a half by 11. On the left here, you'll see this on the left material size. You can choose eight and a half by 11, and it'll resize everything to the eight by 11. Eight and a half by eleven, so you can put it in the upper left-hand corner. Um, so you can select any size there. If you do hit hit a size that's smaller than what can fit the current items can fit, it'll span across several mats. So normally, I try to pick a piece of paper that everything will fit on, and then if you clicked. Uh, go it would print to uh, this only on the side part of the map that's shown that's highlighted in the back. If for example I'm going to check do the next layer as well instead of just choosing a size of paper um, once you select the mat you can come over here and move things around. So I can just click on it and move it around and just, let's just say I have a piece of paper that's I go by these lines um, so that's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So let's say 8 by 6. I have an 8 by 6 paper, size paper that this will fit on. I can just put it in that corner, arrange it, so I can save some paper. I do this with scraps a lot. The other thing is you can rotate them. So when you rotate an image, because maybe I don't have but 8 by 5, you can just rotate it freeform by hitting that circle. If you want it to lock into 45 degree increments, you hold the shift key down while you do it. So you see it snapping. So I'm gonna do that for all four. And you can move them around. And then once you hit go, just make sure you have the right size paper on there. Uh, just make sure you don't overlap as well. And then it'll print only in that area. I mean, cut only in that area. I use the movement and rotation a lot with small scraps. So I'll show you an example on some different layers. Right here, I have a purple layer for a uh, the witch. So let's say I want that, but I don't want to have to. I just want to put a bunch of scraps on one mat. So I know this is the upper left hand corner. So I come to this one. I know there's not much here. So I'm going to move it over to the upper right hand corner. So I have a scrap that size. You just have to make sure you have the right size. Then I'll go to one with another and I'll put it down in the corner. And the last small one I'll put here. I mean you can put them in the middle too. I just do it for corners. It makes it easier. So what I do is I load up my mat with the purple in the upper left. Let's say maybe the reddish color in the upper right. This is for teeth, so I think I was using gray, even though I have kind of like a off white here. And the, not that one, skipped, skipped one. In the lower right hand corner, this is the top of a pumpkin that's brown. So I just put those in the corner, the right size papers. And then when I click go and send it to the machine, it'll only cut. I only have to put one mat in. Unfortunately, I have to unload it and reload it. Um, some people do sync it all to the one color when you do this which you can as well, but um, I don't do it because it reminds me of what's cutting. So I would just cut this, cut it, eject it, reinsert it. But like I said, the quicker way, and a lot of people do it if you know which colors you're going to be doing, is to come over here and use the sink and just sink them all one color. And then when I click, oops, go.
here they are with all the colors I changed. I can do the same. You just have to remember what the color they are. And I'm not very good sometimes at doing things. I, for, I forget. I get sidetracked very easily. So you can do that. And then when you load the mat, you have the four different colors. The one color, purple, red. I think that was gray I was using and a brown. You just put them on there, load one mat, and the blade will go around and cut all four items. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I do use this to, to utilize my scraps, and um, I was hoping it would help somebody else out. Thank you for watching.